So today I thought to do a video on how much power you lose in a cable and also is your SWR the same at the other end than it is this end. For years my vertical aerials have been up on the chimney and that's very difficult to put an SWR meter up there as I'm sure you can imagine but now my aerial is a much easier place to access I'm going to put one of these two SWR meters, which are the same make, same type, one on this end, one on the Game Master end, and see if there's any loss in power. But more importantly, I'm really curious of what my cat's doing. I'm really curious if the SWR is the same at the aerial than it is here. Here by the radio, it always seems to be almost perfect. 1.1, 1.2. In fact, the needle uh, barely moves. But I'm curious what it's going to be like at the aerial. It's going through 25 meters of RG213U, which is around here in Holland, around three euros a meter. So it's not the cheapest cable, but it's also not the most expensive. Why I chose this cable over the Aircell 7, I use the Aircell 7 for patch cables, because the man in the shop said the RG213U is a thicker cable, which it is, and it has less influence through the cold and hot weather because the insulators are thicker and the actual cable is thicker. That makes a bit of sense. It doesn't have a copper foil on the inside like the RCL7, but due to the thickness, he says that shouldn't really be a problem. So that's the cable I'm using. I'll be first trying on 30 watts and then we'll see how it goes. Possibly uh, we'll try 50 watts and see what the loss is or what the SWR is. It's a beautiful day in Notre Dame today. Weather's absolutely gorgeous, as you can possibly see. And we'll see how it goes. At the moment, it's very, very quiet on triple five. It's uh, As I say that, there's a guy calling, uh... I'll bring the camera closer. GoPro, stop recording. So this is triple, so it's, it's quite early. Here in Holland, uh... you can see the time. So basically there's not a lot going on at the moment and uh, we've got one meter uh, and another meter it's terrible with the light today and one's gonna go outside and one's gonna stay in here okay I'll uh, hopefully I can get this finished today So we're on channel 20 and because uh, we're courteous we'll see is anybody on channel. Uh, we're, we're, we're almost on channel 20. Okay, nobody on channel. Power sits on 37. Let's key the microphone. We're using uh, 10 amps, as we can see. And if we come up here, the 30 watts and SWR of 1.2 or so, 
Oh, there's a strong signal here. Must be a local operator. And we see again. So, let's check it out of the aerial. And see uh, if there's any difference. I imagine there'll be a bit of difference with the watts. I imagine I'll probably lose a couple of watts through 25 metres of coax cable. But I would imagine the SWR is probably about the same, if not better, by the aerial. But we'll never know until I try it out. Hopefully I can do that in an hour or so. OK. So here we are outside. I hope it's not too bright. I think my little helper's here, Felix. Hey, Felix. <laughs> Hello. Where are you now? There you are. Hey, hey, hey. So here we are, SW1 meter outside. Hooked up to the uh, the game master here. And what I'll go and do, I'll go and put the radio on 30 watts and we'll see uh, what the reading is here. We'll press this to 30 and we'll see what it says. Absolutely beautiful day today. There's a sky on that side. Really, really beautiful blue, blue sky. It's, uh, it's 10 to 11 in the morning here in Rotterdam. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful skies. But unfortunately, it's only for one day. <laughs> I think tomorrow it turns to winter. Right then, I'll go and turn uh, the radio on and we'll see how much power we're losing or not losing. So we're back indoors. There's still nobody on channel 20. There's not very many people on channel anything actually. Uh, oh, there's a chap here. Okay then. So we key the mic. Nine, nine and a bit amps we're using here. Let's go and have a look here. So I can see exactly 30, 30 watts. And an SWR of 1.2 is where the needles are crossing. I think we can all, all, all agree on that. Right, let's see what happens outside. So we're back outside. And we can see here, I'll try it in the shadow, with 26 watts and the SWR is 1.3. I don't know how well you can see it with the sun. Maybe you can see it better in the shadow. 26. 1. Point, uh, about 1.3 is what I can see here. So we're only losing uh, 4 watts through 25 metres of cable. I'm going to go back inside and unkey the microphone. Which is probably a good idea. So it's now five past eleven. You can see. I think it's our Ola friend. But as the day's heating up, I think uh, there could be some DX, good DXing a bit later on. I think this guy's uh, a local man. So basically, you lose, uh, was that 4 watts on 25 metres of cable on 30 watts? So times it by 3, and I suppose uh, you'd lose 12 watts on 100 watts, or thereabouts. But these aren't laboratory metres, as you well know. These are for amateur radios, amateur kind of metres, so they're not so accurate. But it does give a general idea of the loss. I can hear a few more. Uh... Yeah. 
<laughs> Publication up and down so many. But look at the level here, very, very low. QRM is very low today. So my, my aerials pointed south towards Italy. Hopefully I can make a contact with Max from Mountain World and listen to his new Yesu radio, which looks very nice. But for now, I'm going to turn the radio off and uh, make a cup of tea. I hope this has been useful to somebody. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. And just as on a final note, I see a lot of people putting their power packs, linears, here, right next to the radios. And because these are so sensitive, they must pick up a bit of QRM, a bit of interference from the power supply, if not the linear, if not both of them, with them being so close. As you can kind of see, I have things spread all spread apart. The speaker, which can't really cause any interference, that's close to the radio. But as for the, as for the rest, as you can see, uh, SWR meters out of the way, uh, microphone well out of the way, the controller out of the way, I have a power supply uh, underneath a desk, a bit out of the way. And each little thing makes a difference, I'm sure. You can't get rid of all the QRM in one go, but you check your cables, you check your plugs, move your power supply away from your radio, and also your linear away from your radio. Move your coax cable and your power supply cables apart, and every little bit makes a difference. I hope this has been useful to somebody, that's my two cents worth, and uh, till the next time. 73 is from Rotterdam. Liverpool. Wow. I'll try that one next. And a very good afternoon. It's 19 Charlie Tango, 022, standing by. Yeah, very well, thanks. Uh, getting a very good signal into Rotterdam, almost hitting plus 20, and a very good Radio 5. Yeah, QSL, thank you very much for uh, oh, your report. Well, it was. Very, very important uh, because the news radio. <laughs> the news radio on uh, the Fox Tango 5000. Uh, very, very uh, uh, difficult on, uh, on the setup uh, for the microphone, uh, equalizer, compression. Certainly, uh, my person is John, John, and I said I'm from the city of Rotterdam, and a very, very good audio. What, uh, I think I've spoken to you before, what uh, microphone are you using uh, at this moment? Over. Yeah, QSL, QSL. Uh, my microphone is a studio one, uh, a studio microphone uh, L, uh, the L microphone, uh, Papa Romeo 781, uh, standard studio microphone. Uh, I had it. Uh, I uh, I bought the Hale 781 a few months ago, but I found without uh, without a preamp, without a mixer, nobody could hear me. But uh, but now I have the Hale PR40, and I bought a tube pre V2 preamp. And I'm using that now, the Heil PR40. Over. Yeah, QSL, QSL, the audio, it's no smooth working. 